You're filming guys. Hello everyone. Today there will be a video about how to increase the spark voltage on an engine 406 using an injector. I have already started writing on the drive and received responses and questions from people. Now I'm going to make a video, so that's the basic idea. I also read on the drive that people did this later on the internet. By just following the links, I read that in order to raise the voltage on the ignition coil on the high side, you need to correspondingly raise the voltage on the low side. The higher the supply voltage, the higher the voltage will be at the output, which will increase the strength of the spark. Now, let's get started. First, measure what we have initially using a multimeter or voltmeter, and then think further. Let's start measuring. I'm filming great, so we have a running engine. I need to talk here. I get it. Our running engine has a voltmeter. The negative terminal is connected to the ground. Come closer. Here, please see that the numbers on the coils here are two connectors, a constant plus and a control plus from below. Now I have 13.1 or 13.2 volts. Turn everything off. You might have a question why the engine works like this. It's because we are running out of fuel. The fuel is already not enough, so the engine idles low, causing it to shake a little. Everything is fine with the engine, so don't worry. As you saw just now, we had 13 or 13.1 or 13.2 volts on the low side of the coil. More needs to be done to improve this. On idling without load, the generator is giving me 14.2 volts. To get 14.2 volts to the coil, we could run a new wire through the whole wiring because we are losing one volt somewhere in the wiring, like in the connectors, connections, contacts, perhaps in the wires themselves. Maybe they are old and worn out. To simplify things, you could just take a regular 4-pin relay and connect it directly. Run it with the battery. I already had this system, I just removed it in order to make a video to show you. Okay, so we take control of the relay, hang it on this constant plus on the coil, and the plus from the battery through Ground to ground, accordingly. How to do this? Here's the diagram for you. Please take a look. The guys on the drive corrected me a little. I drew the contact incorrectly on the wrong leg, so I corrected it. Here is the correct diagram. I forgot what to talk about. After this assembly, we get 14.2 volts on the coil as on a generator. For example, when we drive at night and in the winter with a heater and headlights on, the voltage will naturally decrease because the voltage on the battery decreases due to the load. It will be around 13.8. But without this relay, we will have 12.8 because one volt is lost somewhere in the wiring. This is also a problem with the Volga. It is lost on the standard voltmeter which always shows 13 volts. So what did this modification give me? No, not like that. Not with this one. I will tell you about that a little later. There is another nuance. People write on. A little later, you'll note an additional detail.
Some people have messaged me suggesting that you can increase the voltage by more than one volt using a relay without any voltage boosters. Essentially, we can directly pass the voltage produced by the generator without boosting it. That is, they use some form of voltage boosters, not transformers per se, but some type of electronic device. They specifically order these boosting units to increase the voltage all the way up to the 20th century. Well, when it comes to 20 volts, I probably won't do this, and I don't really support it because these factory coils are designed for something. If they calibrated to function within the cost parameters and the generator's electrical standards, they should just work that way. But I'm just putting this out there, so, you know, check it out further if you want. The increase by one volt did not radically improve car performance. There was little change, the engine is more stable, at idle smoother, let's say the spark is probably more intense, the fuel burns more completely, but performance didn't improve significantly. It may have improved slightly. Your driving experience can be influenced by everything. How hard you press the pedal, the current weather, your mood, and overall how you feel in the car. One day it runs well, but the next day it doesn't, and then the day after it performs superbly. So it's all subjective, but this modification has a right to exist. Anyone who wants to should give it a try. It may produce great results for some and not work as well for others. In general, the voltage reaching your coil may be even lower than mine, maybe less than 13.1, 13.2, or even 12 volts. This also applies to headlights. If you're interested, there will be a video on how to install a relay on the headlights for brighter lighting. Look, I now have 2,100 subscribers on my channel, but only 600 on the drive. I'm baffled, folks. Is subscribing to the drive too much trouble? The link is in the video description. It's not that hard to press the button and subscribe, and it makes me happy. So please subscribe to the drive and the channel and wait for new videos. I promise to release about one video a week. Good luck to everyone for now. There is one thing I wanted to mention.